Imagine being told that your unborn baby has a heart defect so severe that it can result in it either dying in the womb or being born with a hole in its heart. If the hole is too large, the prognosis can be grim. Traditionally, the only way to repair such a defect would be with a surgery to physically sew the hole shut. But what if science discovered something new? A completely natural peptide that could prevent the need for a risky heart surgery or the baby dying in the womb. Normally, this would be considered almost physically impossible. The medical community has long accepted that the heart has very limited regeneration potential, except under some exceptional circumstances. But this is the reality of Emily's story, and how a small peptide she took while pregnant was able to completely heal the hole in her baby's heart and lead it to be born with a healthy heart and no longer require any surgery. These are the type of results we are getting with our molecular bioenhancement coaching programs, by the way. But before I get into that, I just want to cover the type of heart defect that her baby had. This is known as a ventricular septal defect. This occurs when there is a hole in the septum which separates the two lower chambers of the heart, known as the right ventricle and the left ventricle. So normally during the systole, which is the phase of your heart beat, you have blood that gets pumped out of the left ventricle into the aorta, and how much blood that's pumped out is known as the left ventricular ejection fraction. However, with a hole in the septum, some of that blood gets forced into the right ventricle, which can cause a pansystolic heart murmur and enlarge the right ventricle over time, and it can also provide back pressure to the lungs, which results in pulmonary hypertension. And so this all results in a reduction of the left ventricular ejection fraction and overall poor heart function. But peptides, they have been shown to work through several mechanisms to actually repair the heart from this damage, and not just in babies who have a higher degree of pluripotent cells, this is actually something which has been shown also after ischemic insults, such as a heart attack. So, the peptides work by stopping the oxidative stress in heart tissues, stimulating enhanced blood flow and hence oxygen delivery to the heart, and they also upregulate some of the mitochondrial genes, which are associated with mitochondrial biogenesis, improving the mitochondrial complex 1 and 4, which enhances the ATP production, leading to stronger mitochondria in the heart in addition to more mitochondria in the heart. And it also activates several repair proteins. First, actin, which is known for cell migration and repair processes. It helps cells move and repair effectively. And also some uh, tubule proteins known as tubulin and laminin A and also laminin C, which are involved in uh, cellular repair, even DNA repair, and uh, good effects on the chromatin, which enhances gene expression. And so just the result of all of this it has been shown that these peptides are actually able to regenerate myocardial tissue and help prevent against heart fibrosis, which is quite amazing. And also, peptides are often contraindicated in pregnancy. But that is crazy because peptides have actually been studied during pregnancy, and they ease symptoms of preeclampsia and miscarriage. They basically improve all symptoms related to pregnancy and make the pregnancy and the birth much more comfortable for the mother. And I just want to clarify what actually happened to Emily, because she had a first child, and that one was born dead due to a heart defect. It was really severe. So she tried for another child, and at 21 weeks pregnant, she had an ultrasound done, and it showed that her baby had this ventricular septal defect that I just discussed with you. And so it was quite concerning because the hole was quite large, and uh, they weren't sure if the baby was even going to make it. But she was able to find this other doctor who was into untraditional treatments, including peptides. And they discussed these peptides with her, and they decided to put her on one. And after Emily discussed this with her husband and her mother-in-law and the rest of her family, she decided to start the protocol because there's really no harm in doing so if she can have a healthy child be born, you know. And so she started taking these peptides, and at 32 weeks pregnant, which was right before she gave birth, uh, the heart defect on the imaging had completely healed, as if it was never there. And so this is quite an amazing story of what peptides can do. And I actually cover all of this in my peptide mastery course. So if you want to check that out, you can get it in the link in the description. But I also have a completely free course because I do want to provide a lot of information for you guys and show you the benefits that these peptides can provide. But that sums it up uh, for today's story with Emily. And I hope this video has been interesting to you. Uh, I'd love to see more doctors around the world using peptides. So it would just be an amazing thing because they can do things that traditional treatments can't do. And uh, they can also synergize with traditional treatments, you know, quite effectively just to lead to a better overall outcome. 
So it makes sense to utilize everything at your disposal or in your toolbox, so to speak, when it comes to treating some of these tricky issues, which is exactly what we do with our molecular bioenhancement coaching programs. This has been Brendan Henry, and I hope you love this video. Thank you for watching.